Welcome to EPAD, the European Prevention of Alzheimer's Dementia Project. And to make prevention a reality, we need your help. You should know that in the future, you may be invited to take part in a clinical trial. If test results suggest you have abnormal levels of a protein called amyloid. If you have abnormal levels, it may mean you have a higher risk of developing Alzheimer's dementia in later life. Before you decide whether or not to join EPAD, we'd like to explain what we understand about amyloid and how it relates to dementia. In the brain of a person with Alzheimer's disease, amyloid proteins accumulate and clump together. These clumps are called plaques. These amyloid plaques are an important characteristic of the disease, amongst others, such as tau protein tangles. Researchers are currently working hard to understand how all these risk factors are linked to one another and play a role in the disease. The specific type of amyloid that is associated with Alzheimer's disease is called amyloid beta. Amyloid beta protein has a normal role in brain function. Its levels can be measured in the cerebrospinal fluid. In addition, we can visualize amyloid plaques with a positron emission tomography, PET, brain scan. We think that these amyloid beta plaques are an early sign of damage, including to nerve cells, but scientists are still researching this. Plaques can start to form as early as 20 to 30 years before any symptoms appear. We are trying to find out why this happens and how this eventually causes Alzheimer's dementia. Interestingly, many people in their 80s and 90s who have amyloid plaques in their brains show no dementia symptoms. So what does having abnormal amyloid beta levels mean? Simply that you may have an increased risk of developing dementia in the future. This is not a certainty. Amyloid levels are just one of many potential risk factors that determine a person's risk of developing Alzheimer's dementia. What's more, amyloid levels can vary over time. Not everyone with abnormal amyloid beta will develop Alzheimer's dementia, in the same way that not everyone with high blood pressure will develop heart disease or have a stroke. In short, if you are invited to the clinical trials, you may learn about your amyloid status. Please consider this information before you decide to join EPAD. However, abnormal levels do not mean that you will develop Alzheimer's dementia. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.